Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Goals Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. In an earlier video, I showed you how to use Excel's new function, Lambda, to simplify the calculation of personal income tax in Ghana. In this short video, we are going to do something similar, but this time around, we use Lambda to calculate value added tax. The goal is to make it simpler in just one function. So join me in Excel and let's go through this together. So these are the current rates for VAT in Ghana. So for an amount X taxable, you add NHIL 2.5%, get fund 2.5%, profit levy of 1%, and you add up this with a taxable to get a Y. Then on the Y, you charge the VAT standard rate of 12.5%. This together should give you the total bill or total amount. So let's use an example of a VAT table of 89,000 and let's go through this calculation. So first, I'm going to take this, let me lock this F4 and I'm going to multiply it by the get fund levy. So this gives me 2225. I'm going to just copy this down. So control D. Now control D would make sure that I have multiplied these rates by this fixed amount. Now my taxable value is going to be the summation of this and these. So this gives me 94340. Final thing I'm going to do is to now take this taxable value and multiply it by the standard bat rate and I get 11792.50. Then my total is going to be this plus this giving me 106.132.50. So this is an example. Calculate this VAT figure in one formula. The goal will be to actually find the tax at this level and then this one, then we add. So if you look closely, the VAT at this level is going to be 5340, okay? And the VAT at this level is going to be this amount. Okay, so in essence, if I add this, this, this 17132 is the total I'm adding to this to arrive here. Now let's calculate this in one formula. So to calculate this in one formula, we first need to break this down. So this is going to be equal to 89,000 times one plus the sum of all these rates. Okay, close bracket, close bracket. So this is actually going to give me 94,340, which is a marked up figure for from 89,000 up to this point. So to get a real value, I'm going to subtract this, okay, from the taxable. So I get 5,340 at this point. So what I'm going to do is, remember, it is this part that gave us uh, 94,340. F9. Okay. So I'm going to take this part, copy, and then add this. Okay. And then multiply that 94340 by 12.50. Okay. So then together, I'm going to get the 17132. So this is now going to be our total formula. So now, note that this E11. E11, E11 are the variable cells, which is the taxable amount. So this part is going to be fed into the lambda function. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy this formula. Okay. Then we paste this here. Now, because we are going to take it to the name manager or define a name with this, I'm going to lock all the constant cells. So this is F4. This part is also F4, and this is also F4, leaving these variable units. So this is going to be my taxable. So what you're going to do is introduce Lambda. It allows you to hold this in memory, and you feed it to the parameters. So Lambda, the parameter I'm going to use here is taxable. Okay, so this is taxable, and Every E11, I'm going to replace it with taxable. So I'll make this taxable. 
it's already in here so i'll go here taxable and taxable okay so this is going to be my full lambda function and i'm going to now boost or store this in a function one single function so i'll copy this when you copy you come to formulas and you see define name here so you click define name the name we are going to use here is but okay and this but the scoop is anything in this workbook so the formula is now going to be equal to what i copied okay and then i'll click okay but what is going to happen is that if i'm giving this taxable and i run but which is now a function on this amount okay i get 17 one three two so in a new worksheet, if I have 89,000 and customer just wants to know what is a VAT, I just simply do VAT will be equal to this. Okay, and now if you add these two, you get the total. Of course, if it demands that you break it down, you can use the template. But if for advising the customer how much VAT the person is going to pay, you can easily just store this, save it as a template and then call your VAT calculations from there. Please take the learning and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can send add to this WhatsApp number. We send you videos directly, twice a week. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finest WhatsApp. Please visit and subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.